Today we'll be doing the integral of 1 over x squared plus 3x plus 2 dx. And to start off, we could um, factor um, this denominator. So you have to recall that we have to find... So list the factors of 2. So 1, 2. You have to find a number that multiplies to... Two numbers that multiply to 2 and that add to 3 at, at the same time. So 1 times 2... Um, that at, multiplies to 2, and 1 plus 2 adds to 3, so this is the correct pair. So then, therefore, x squared plus 3x plus 2 can factor into x plus 1 times x plus 2, and we could use that to our advantage. It's equal to the integral of 1 over x plus 1 times x plus 2 dx. And then we could incorporate a technique called partial fractions. This is equal to the integral of a over x plus 1 plus b over x plus 2, where a and b are some constants. And we have to find the value of a and b. And to do that, we have to like get a common denominator. So we could set 1 equal to a times x plus 2 plus b times x plus 1. And now we could like plug in some values that like cancel it out. So we could look at the base case when x equals minus 2. So if x equals minus 2, the a term will cancel. And we're left with b negative 2 plus 1. So 1 equals negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 times the b. So negative b. So negative 1 equals b. And now, if x equals negative 1, the b term will cancel, and we have 1 equals a times negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1 times the a, so a equals 1. And we solve for the values of a and b, and we can plug it in back to our integral. This is equal to the integral of a over x plus 1, which is now 1 over x plus 1. And then we said b was negative 1, so it's going to turn into a minus 1 over x plus 2 dx. We could separate that integral. This is the integral of 1 over x plus 1 dx minus the integral of 1 over x plus 2 dx. And now you could notice we could use like the log rule, which is equal to the natural log of x plus 1 minus the natural log of x plus 2 plus c and now we can do another um technique where we have to recall that the natural log of a minus the natural log of b equals the natural log of a over b provided that b is non-zero and here clearly x plus 2 is not is non-zero so this is equal to the natural log of x plus 1 over x plus 2 plus c and we could um, get rid of the absolute value signs because it will always be positive so you have the natural log of x plus 1 over x plus 2 plus c and this is the final result if you want to see more videos like this make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video